Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about symptoms of shellfish allergies. Shellfish allergies are among the most common of food allergies in the United States, affecting up to 2% of the population. Normally, we see them in adults, but they can affect children as well. Obviously, a shellfish allergy is going to occur after eating shellfish, but remember, not all shellfish actually have shells. Squid and octopus can cause these allergies, and they don't have shells at all. But more commonly, we see it with shrimp, crab, oysters, mussels, clams, and other mollusks, including even snails, that people might eat. Most shellfish allergies are relatively benign. You can get stuffy nose, you can get swollen lips, you can get vomiting, diarrhea, or abdominal pain. But some shellfish allergies are life-threatening, causing a reaction called anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis occurs when the patient has difficulty breathing, the blood pressure may drop, they may get a very fast heart rate, and they may lose consciousness. Anaphylaxis is best treated with an injection of epinephrine. And if you're somebody who's ever had anaphylaxis, you should never be very far from an epinephrine auto-injector or an EpiPen that you can carry with you wherever you go. It doesn't take a whole lot of exposure to shellfish to cause an allergy in a susceptible person. Even a minute quantity of fish paste or powdered shellfish used as an ingredient in another dish can cause that reaction. So if you have shellfish allergies, allergies, carefully check labels and menus and ask about anything that you're uncertain about. So, remember shellfish allergies are common. They're frequently relatively benign, but occasionally life-threatening. If you have the life-threatening kind, be sure and have your EpiPen with you at all times. Talking about symptoms of shellfish allergies, I'm Dr. David Hill.